Hello, everybody. I am Bolt Matrix, and yes, I sound bad because I am getting over COVID. Anyway, today we are taking a look at something from Dr. Wu, and we are taking a look at Sword Dancer. This set includes Patriot Tank and Traveler Plane. I picked this set up over at the wonderful folks at SirToys.com. Link is down in the description. This tiny little set comes with an instruction booklet, one for the tank and one for the combined mode. And then, and then it comes with these little action cards that are absolutely adorable and they have wonderful rough texture to them. I love this texture. I used to have a phone with this texture. And then that's the plane. And then here is a sword dancer. And then here is a Patriot tank. You could see the power that both of them have. And here is the power of their combined mode. Both figures are packaged in cassette mode. And getting them out is fairly simple. Now there's a little bit of imagination needed for the cassette modes. I'm not going to lie about that. They aren't exactly what I would consider what you would look think of cassettes looking like. But then again, neither is laser beak or eject. Or is that rewind? I can never tell. No, that's eject. That's definitely eject. So, yeah. But as you can see, they are roughly the same size as the current crop of cassettes. So, kudos. And see, they fit with no problem inside Blaster and Soundwave. <laughs> Silly Soundwave. Yes, I know he's an Autobot, but you don't have to get violent with it. Transformation for these little dudes is a lot of fun. We'll start with the tank first, or Patriot tank. First, you'll need the, um, well tank turret. You're going to need that for, you know, a tank. Start off with, come to the top and grab the entire top section and fold it down like that. And then, whoa, uh -oh, part of the, uh, <laughs> part of the missile assembly got stuck. So we'll put that back into place and then take the treads sections and fold them straight out like so. Ah! Popped a ball joint! Get back in there! And then take the, the sections and turn them so that the uh, treads all line up on the top, like this. And then the whole section will fold down, like so. And I just realized I missed a turn, so we have to turn these sections so that the yellow line is pointing up. Now that we've got those yellow sections pointing up, we'll take the little flap here and flip this tiny little flap up like that. We want it all the way up, and then we want to fold this whole section out like that. And then this will fold down, and the arms will peg into that little flap that's sticking out. You want to actually fold it down. All right, so I was missing a joint. I was having this top part bending at the wrong joint. Instead of having it bend here, there's a little pin right there that bends it forward, and then this whole section folds forward, and you push the arm in, and it will peg into place right there. And then we can drop the turret into place and fix the missiles. For the blue guy, Grab the legs and unpeg them and fold them both out, or the sides of the of this mode. And then take the edges here and turn them around 180 degrees, like that. Then come underneath and push down to fold it in and then fold it up like that. So push it down and then fold it up, thusly. Now that we've got those little bits done, take the uh, gray pieces and flip them down like that and turn the figure around and flip up these wings coming back to the front according to the directions you're supposed to fold it down like that but I have found that I did not line those legs up correctly so just fold them down and turn them around and yeah just kind of leave it like that fold these little bits up on what look to be toes and then they will fold up into the back like that. Come to this gray piece and kind of wiggle it up, flip it around, and then drop it down and peg it into place. 
to form the jet mode. And then we can take the guns and just plop them on the back. I think these little dudes are neat. I like them a lot. They are a lot more complicated than, say, Laserbeak, or maybe about the same complexity as Ravage. The directions that I have, or the directions that the figures come with, are a little bit confusing, especially for Patriot Tank, but I still think they work. In terms of size on their vehicle mode, they do feel a bit smaller than Laserbeak, but Laserbeak is literally just a brick that folds out into a bird shape, as opposed to reconforming into a tank or jet. They are deliciously big enough to give little Eject a ride, though. I love that. Now, for their combined mode, it is best to return both figures back to their tape mode. It just makes things so much easier. The only real difficulty I have found is I forget how to turn them back sometimes. Patriot Tank, to me, is harder to transform back than, um, than the plane, whose name is escaping me for some reason right now. I find the plane to be much simpler of a transformation. Though, not less, neither of them are, I wouldn't consider either of them not fun. I think both of them have a fun transformation. I just find the plane to be, you know, easier. Yeah, that's about right. Yep. Yep. Do, 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 do. Yeah, once you figure out a couple of the weird oddities with these little dudes, they are a ton of fun. I, I gotta admit, I really do like them. And I was worried they were going to be too small. And quite frankly, even my ham hands aren't really having a trouble with any trouble with them. Alright, let's go ahead and get these transformed into their, you know, combined mode. We'll start with the pants. And I, I'm saying pants because I'm reminded of Transformers Energon with these guys. Start off with, come to the sides, and unpeg them, and then fold them down and around, like so. Come inside, and you have to take the canopy for the plane mode and flip it around like that. And, uh, well, um, just make sure the legs are pointed in the right direction and the feet are pointed in the right direction. And close up the heels. Oh, come on. And you're supposed to be able to push out the toes, which they're on sliders, but my fat fingers are having issues getting them out. And uh, yeah, that that that's pretty much it. Come on, keep your keep your fly up. Ah, we'll leave it on. All right, put that off to the side. Now for the chest. You're supposed to flop it down and then flip up the head and flip forward the missiles. You know what? I'm just going to leave the missiles off for right now. They just keep falling off. And flip that back. And then bring these arms forward like this. The long and short of it is you just spread the arms out and move the head around so that the head is pointing towards the chest, which is where the ball joints are, and that the arms, you've got the pins pointing forward and then the treads are on the inside the directions say to have they're a little bit odd so it, it's kind of like this okay so i did have some things lined up incorrectly so according to the directions you want the treads all on the inside of the arms and then the white fists pointing forward like that and then this whole section is supposed to flop down and fit so the this piece where the canopy was slides up behind and pegs in behind the head and then this piece flips forward or this piece will flip forward and connect everything together so all right got that pegged in flip that up and peg it into place ah good nice snap and then we'll just reattach all the all the and then we'll just reattach all the weapons. 
Not gonna lie, I kind of love this. This is so cool. Everything pegs in really well, except these two, you know, missile batteries up by the head. But overall, it's cool. I love the look of this little thing. It works well. It's not that top heavy. All the ball joints are super tight, or tight enough for this size class. And yeah, that head, that face, it works really well. Yeah, definitely loving this. Uh, I think it was Rain Dance or Slam Dance. No, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But it looks really cool. It's pretty darn poseable. Head swivels and can look up and down. Ball joint in the shoulders, hinge joint, bend or swivel joint, hinge at the elbow. There's fist articulation, no torso articulation because of the way it combines. Legs are plenty movable, got lots of joints, could get some decent poses, slightly top heavy, but overall works really well. And when fully combined, it's even bigger than our little eject friend here. And what's even better, he's bigger than core class rumble. Oh yeah. Overall, I gotta say, I am absolutely loving Sword Dancer. It's a wonderful set and works with Blaster. Now, if I wish Blaster, or I wish there was a twin cast capacity Blaster, you know, with, it can hold two tapes. That would be awesome. I would get that in a heartbeat and throw this guy in it. Out of all the cassettes, other than, you know, Rumble, this is my favorite cassette so far. So I've got to find out if uh, Sir Toys has the other Dr. Wu set for the Decepticon version of Beast Box and, um, you know who I mean, the, the G1 Bird and Ape. I know that they're out there. I hope that Sir Toys has it. If, if it does, I'm, I'm definitely buying it. So folks, let me know what you think of this set down in the comments. I think it's a definite worth picking up, especially if you've already got Blaster, who in and of itself is a fantastic figure. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, let me know what you think of this set down in the comments. I have been One Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.